Hello, my lovely Leo. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are here today <laughs> with my cat. Um, okay, there are so many times, Leo, when I do your readings and I start the camera and my cat just like, I have a counter over here and then I have like my filming table and she just literally like leaps onto, thank you, <laughs> the table like as soon as I start the reading. She's like, yes, it's time for the Leo reading. So anyways, welcome, hello. Uh, if you're new to my channel, we do tarot love readings here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, for any of you lovely folks dealing with a Leo romantically, this is a timeless tarot reading. So whenever you click into it is when you are meant to hear the messages. Um, and always keep in mind, it may or may not resonate, you guys. So take what works and leave the rest. So today what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull some oracle cards actually to start the reading. We're gonna look at what you need more of in your love life right now. And then we're gonna take a look at what is coming towards you in love, okay? So there's a couple things we're gonna talk about. Uh, if you are a Leo, you have come to the right place. I also wanted to point out that I am a very proud Leo son. This is my Leo only channel. I only do Leo readings here on this channel. So um, feel free to stick around, say hello in the comments, all that good stuff. But I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to jump in today. Like I said, we're going to start by looking at what you need more of. I've got this beautiful deck here. It is the Power of Love activation cards. So I'm going to pull three of these cards. Uh, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, we're going to see what you need more of in your love life right now. And then we're going to get into the tarot to look at what is coming towards you in love at this moment. So what does Leo need more of in their love life right now? What does Leo need more of? All right. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. We are going to break it down. The messages that came through are friendliness, patience, and past. So let's go one by one here, Leo. The first card that came out for you was the card friendliness. And the message says, you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love based connections. Okay, honestly, I'm getting like some obviously like major friendship vibes here. I do think that this card speaks to the importance of building a really strong foundation of friendship within your romantic relationships. So if you're currently partnered right now, this could be a message to really work on building that friendship between the two of you. And if you're single, this could be a bit of a message where it's recognizing the importance of having that really solid foundation to your relationship. So as you move into your next relationship, I think that you're gonna wanna keep in mind, how do I really build that friendship connection in addition to the love connection? So that, you know when people are like, um, my partner is my best friend, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here, Leo, where it's like, you obviously wanna have that love, but I feel like there's an important piece here around building this really beautiful friendship between you and your person as well. So if you're with somebody right now, you could work on really building that foundation to your relationship. And if you're single, you know, as you move into your next connection, really focus on taking the time to get to know each other, uh, build that friendship. This could also even indicate the possibility of a friendship turning more romantic, Leo. So if you are single, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you had a friend coming in, confessing some feelings for you, wanting to be with you, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Now, the next message that we have for you today is patience. So you need more patience in your love life. And the message says you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Okay. So again, whether you're single or in a relationship, I want you to think about how this connects with how you're feeling right now. Where do you need to be more patient in your love life? Do you need to be more patient with yourself? Do you need to be more patient with your partner? Think about where this theme might be showing up for you right now. Maybe you're single and you're feeling very impatient that you're single and you haven't met somebody, okay? So if you're feeling that way, what can you do to work with those feelings so that you're not falling into this energy of feeling impatient or feeling frustrated or feeling like you're not getting what you want? Because when you move from patience to impatience, to me, impatience is like a, an energy of lack. It's like, I don't have something. I'm impatient because I feel like I don't have what I want. 
And when we feel like we're in that lack mindset, when we feel there's a deficit, when we feel like we don't have what we desire, then it can put us in that space where it's a bit more, uh, again, like that lack mindset or that lack mentality. And that can sometimes push us away from getting what we want. Now, for those of you in a relationship, like I said, maybe it's about being patient, more patient with each other within the relationship. And I also feel like there might be a specific circumstance where you really need to be patient. And I've got to say the example that's coming to mind is engagement. Like maybe, maybe some of you have been putting some pressure onto your partner to move in, to get engaged, whatever it is. But again, sometimes what happens is when we put pressure onto a situation, we tend to push it away. We tend to get further away from what we want. So however this connects with you right now, I feel like if you can step more into that energy of being more patient in your love life right now, Leo, I think that as soon as you can step into that energy, that's when you're gonna start to feel things moving forward. If you've been connecting with an impatient energy, you probably feel like you've been blocked and you haven't been getting what you want. So think about how you can bring more patience into your love life, okay? Now, where it gets juicy is the last card here. So the last message here from the Power of Love activation cards, hopefully you guys can see that there. The message is about the past and it says, through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Okay, I'm gonna read that again, Leo. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space, okay? You guys are holding on to something from the past. There is an energy here that is encouraging you to let go of attachment to past situations that are no longer serving you. Maybe some of you guys have been wishing for an ex to come back. Maybe it's time to let that go, you know? Again, that's just an example. But there's something here from the past that I think is showing up in your love life right now. And if you have not dealt with whatever this past issue is, I think it's keeping you from getting what you want. So what you need more of right now when it comes to love is letting go of past energy, past people, past circumstances, and past situations that no longer serve you when it comes to love, okay? So again, just think about how that might connect for you, Leo. But I do feel like that card probably has something to do with an ex for many of you. So just think about how you might be holding on to some sort of past attachment that is no longer serving you when it comes to love, okay? All right, so now we're gonna jump into the tarot and we're gonna look at what is coming toward you in love right now. So please tell me what is coming toward my Leos in love? What is coming toward my Leos in love? What have we got here? Hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Something is ending here, Leo. The first card that came out for you. Look at that. Something is ending, something is changing. Something is transforming. High Priestess. This is an incredibly powerful intuitive energy. I kind of feel like with these two cards here, your intuition is telling you that there is something here that needs to end because it's no longer serving you. And that kind of fits perfectly with this past message that we had as your overarching energy, okay? So we've got the death card, the high priestess, and the seven of wands. You need to put up some boundaries. You need to recognize that there is a situation here that is no longer serving you and start to ask yourself, what is for my highest good? What kind of decisions can I make in my love life right now in order to bring in what feels good, what feels right, what feels nourishing. There's something here that I see that is no longer serving you. And what I feel has been happening is that it's been hard for you to walk away from this situation. I feel like there's been, what I kind of get off these cards, Leo, is a lack of boundaries with somebody. And maybe it's been an on again, off again situation with somebody romantically where you guys end things, they come back, they're able to get back into your life. You guys end things, they come back around. So I'm definitely picking up on a bit of that on again, off again energy. But I, what I feel here is that you're starting to recognize that this is not working for you. And you're starting to recognize that there is something here that needs to end. And with that seven of wands, you need to put your guard up and you need to set boundaries with this person in this situation. 
I'm also feeling the seven of wands as you recognizing that you need to step into your power and speak your truth and stand up for yourself, okay? So those are my initial impressions. Let's start to clarify. Tell me more about this death card. Tell me more about this death card. Seven of Pentacles, the Empress and the Emperor. Wow, <laughs> holy smokes. Okay, um, Leo, first of all, when we've got the Emperor and the Empress showing up right beside each other, I mean, that's a divine pair, okay? And so the message that I am getting here, Leo, let's look at this, okay? Because these cards are clarifying this card here, right? So here's what I think needs to happen, you guys. I think something needs to end because you, you are deserve this, okay? You deserve that divine pair. You deserve for the emperor and the empress to be united. But I feel like what's happening is you're spending too much time on a situation that's no longer serving you. And in this case, it's a love rating. So I imagine that what you're probably spending your time on is a relationship that you know is going nowhere. That's what it kind of feels like, you guys, okay? And so I feel like what's happening is until that situation ends, you're kind of blocked from getting the love that you truly deserve. And it's coming through also as a bit of this energy of maybe settling, staying in a bad situation because you feel like there's not something better, not feeling confident that you'll meet somebody new. So I feel like there's all these factors that are kind of coming into play here where maybe you've been trying to make it work with somebody when in reality, what might need to happen is something needs to end here because I feel like there's a divine partnership in the cards for you, but in order for you to get to this divine partnership and this divine energy, you have to commit to yourself that you're gonna let go of anything that's standing in the way of that, okay? All right, uh, so let's look at the high priestess, okay? Uh, so the eight of wands, all right, what else? The five of pentacles and the 10 of cups, yeah. I think you've got happily ever after coming in for you, Leo, but for some of you, I don't think it's necessarily with the person who you're with right now. Now, if you're connecting with this energy, I, I think you know what this is, right? Like, I think you're either listening and you're like, this is not my message today and that's okay. You know, no worries, you guys. But I think if you're connecting with this message, you know what this is. I think your intuition has been telling you that something is not quite sitting right in this connection. And at the end of the day, you are looking for that 10 of pentacles, but you don't really wanna see the 10 of pentacles beside the five of pentacles. To me, that indicates that you've been giving this time and energy to somebody who cannot give you the happily ever after that you've been looking for. You've been in that eight of wands where you're like trying to move things forward, you're trying to build this connection, but this person is just maybe not in a place to give you uh, what you want for whatever reason. Like, you know, this person, I don't know if they've got some issues, they're not ready to commit, whatever it is. But I just feel like the big theme of your reading is about finding the person who can give you what you want. And if you're realizing that you're dealing with a connection in which somebody cannot give you that, you know, that's okay. Not every connection lasts forever. Um, but the longer you stay in a situation where you know it can't have the future that you want, the more it blocks you from getting the future that you desire, if that makes sense. Like what I'm kind of picking up on here, Leo, is you're maybe starting to realize that the person who you're with right now, there's just an impossible future. It's just not going to necessarily work out for whatever reason. And I don't know, the longer you stay in that, I don't know, it, well, I mean, if you stay in it, you stay in it, but I feel like there's something more. I feel like this rating is about you realizing, can this person give me what I want? And if you feel like they cannot, then I think you have to make a decision about what you're doing, right? Okay, so what is this seven of wands energy? What is this seven of wands? Yeah, it's, it's a huge moral dilemma, you guys. Like, I, you're so conflicted, you guys. Honestly, like, my heart goes out to you. It's tough. I think it's really hard to first admit that a relationship is not working. I think when we're in a relationship and we start to realize, like, I don't know if this is going where I want it to go, I think it's a really hard thing to admit to ourselves. Like, I invested in this, but maybe it's not the right thing. 
That's tough, right? And it can create a lot of inner conflict because what I see happening here for you in the clarification is the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. It's like part of you feels really trapped in this relationship and part of you does want to free yourself. But then there's a big part of you with that Four of Pentacles that's still holding on and not wanting to let it go because you're holding out hope that maybe at some point the two of you can, you know, make things work and you can get to this place of that deeper commitment. And so I think you're really kind of going back and forth and maybe you've been feeling that way for a while where part of you is, like I said, just feeling trapped in this connection. But then the other part of you is like, but I don't want to let go yet. It's kind of this thinking of maybe if I just wait another day or another week or another month, we're going to start moving this relationship forward. And again, that's your choice. I mean, however long you want to stay and try to make it work, that's obviously up to you. Um, but I feel what's going on is you're having a very big dilemma because I do think that part of you is starting to feel like you're kind of trapped in this situation and it isn't what you want for your highest good. But then there is part of you that's still holding on and being like, maybe it's a rough patch. Maybe we could get past this. So that's what I really see you grappling with, okay? So let's dig into this a little more. We're gonna look at your person and then we're gonna look at you. We're gonna look at some advice and then the potential outcome. Uh, so tell me more about Leo's person, please. The Magician, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Swords here. I think this is a tough situation for both of you. Like, my sense here is that your person... Like, I feel it could be a situation where you start to pull back your energy and then this person realizes that they could lose you and they have an epiphany or an aha moment with that Ace of Swords and maybe they try to step it up. I kind of feel this could be a pattern for some of you where maybe you've done this dance before with this person where you I'm trying to like explain this it's like you guys are dating things are not really going that well you pull back they start to sense that you might leave and then as soon as they get the sense that you might end things now all of a sudden they come to you and they're like leo you know i've really thought about things i want to make it work let's have a new beginning let's have a fresh start so i feel like they know the right things to say to kind of pull you back in in the moments where they feel like you might be detaching from the connection okay um, so let's look at you. Let's look at you here in this situation. Okay. I think you're, I think you're getting ready to leave this, Leo. So let's break it down. We've got the Fool, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Swords here. You can even see it in the imagery here. The Six of Swords is about leaving something behind that we no longer want to be a part of. And with the Fool energy beside the Page of Cups, I kind of feel like you want something different when it comes to love. You're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting, you know, the fool is the first card within the tarot. Like it feels to me like you're ready for a new adventure. That's what I feel like with that fool energy and with that six of swords, you're like, I'm ready to leave this behind because I want to have a new adventure. I want to find that emperor and the, the empress and I want to move towards something different than what I've been experiencing. So again, it's like, I do feel you starting to detach and starting to feel like there is a situation here where you're ready to end that situation and move towards something new. Okay, so it's kind of um, interesting because I think you and your person can be coming through as different energy where you're pulling back, they might be trying to pull you back in. So I think you should just be prepared for that. If you are deciding to end things or take a break or create space, just be prepared that your person might be doing things to try to pull you back into the connection. So that's where I think you, it goes back to what I was saying earlier in the reading with the seven of wands. I think you just need to stand your ground with what you want, right? So you need to, first of all, figure out what do you want in this situation? Do you want to be together? Do you not want to be together? And then you need to be able to stand your ground in the decision that you make. Because I just feel this energy that for some of you, this person has been able to convince you back into the relationship. But I feel like history has proven that over time, 
they pull you back in, but then you fall back into the same patterns. So I think that whatever you decide to do, the seven of wands is encouraging you to stand your ground with whatever decision you make in the situation. Okay, so what is the advice here? What is the advice? The five of swords, the four of wands and the devil. I mean, the advice is very clearly um, detaching from a toxic situation, you guys. I mean, that's pretty clear advice to me. I can see that you and this person have a commitment, you have a strong relationship, but I don't know, five of swords, it's negative, right? That's people who know how to push each other's buttons. It's negative energy. The devil is something toxic, something unhealthy. So within this connection, I feel like the advice is saying, you need to recognize what is healthy for you and what is not healthy for you. And then you need to decide, how do I move forward and detach myself from things that are no longer serving me. It goes back to that first card within the reading with that death energy where it's like, it really feels like something needs to end. And now with the advice, it feels like some sort of potentially toxic or unhealthy situation needs to end. I mean, the five of swords is such a ugh, kind of, you know, y yucky energy because the five of swords is somebody who knows how to push our buttons. We're fighting, we're having conflict. It's exhausting, right? And that's the thing, it could just be that you're with somebody and the two of you, the relationship, it's not working. Maybe you don't bring out the best in each other anymore. But I think that the advice is saying, you need to take stock of what is going on in your love life right now. Ask yourself if there's any sort of unhealthy behaviors or patterns or anything like that that's coming up and you need to remove yourself from that situation. And I also kind of feel like with the four of wands here showing up in the advice, I feel like it's saying, you know, it's hard if you do have a serious commitment, like some of you might be married to this person, it's not easy to just walk away. But if the relationship has got to a point where it's toxic, you need to ask yourself, at what point do I disengage, right? And that's a personal decision. You need to decide that for yourself. But I feel like the advice is saying, you need to decide at what point is it time for me to walk away from this unhealthy situation. So that's that's the advice you need to um, consider <laughs> or are being invited to consider. So what is the potential outcome here? What is the potential outcome here? And it doesn't have to be super toxic, you guys. Like, it doesn't mean that you have to be in a really bad, unhealthy, toxic relationship. It can really just be a situation where the two of you don't want the same things and there's just not that compatibility moving forward, right? Uh, what, so what's the potential outcome? Okay, so yeah, honestly, I think what's going on here, you guys, is... Um, well, okay, the outcome here is the Three of Wands, the Moon, and the Ace of Cups. I feel like what happens here in the outcome is something comes to light, you have a realization with that moon energy, something that has been hidden is going to be revealed to you and it's going to give you the clarity that you need to move toward a new beginning. So you do have an ace there in the outcome, right? And then you've got the three of wands, which is like you figuring out what is the best future for me? What is the best path for me moving forward? It looks in the outcome like you're moving towards something new. It also looks like there might be something that's revealed to you, like some sort of truth or information that's given to you that helps you uh, decide to move in a new direction. So there could be something that is revealed. But I feel like what's coming in is the possibility of a new start for you, right? Let's just clarify this Ace of Cups here. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups here for Leo, please. Okay. The Ace of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Justice. I think what's coming in is obviously a brand new beginning here with two aces, like an ace clarifying an ace is basically saying like, yes, this is a beautiful new beginning in love. So it fits with the very first card we started with, the death card, which is an ending, and we end the reading with a new beginning. It's actually kind of beautiful, you guys. We started with an ending and we end up with a beautiful new beginning. Now let's talk about this beautiful new beginning because it's actually like amazing. Ace of Pentacles is a very loyal lover. Eight of Pentacles is about somebody who's invested in you in the connection. And then with the Justice energy, that's Libra energy, 
it's the energy of a relationship that feels very balanced, very loving. And, you know, the justice card can also represent justice of the peace. So it could be that at some point, this could be the person who you're actually meant to marry. You know, you've been pouring your time and energy and heart into this, this person, this past person, and it just hasn't been working. But I feel like there could be someone new, some sort of new experience coming in. And this might actually be the person who you end up spending the rest of your life with. But I think the big theme of your reading, however it connects for you, Leo, is that it looks like there is something here that needs to end in order for you to have a new beginning, okay? And I just go back, I don't know, I keep getting pulled back to this card here about the past, where I'm like, I just think there's something from the past that needs to be let go of. And I feel like that's gonna help you have a beautiful new beginning when it comes to love, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, you guys know what to do. Please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk again very soon. Bye guys.